ATP 250 men's professional tennis tournament is currently underway here. Allie Wagner is at the Barnes Tennis Center in Point Loma with more on the tournament. Hey, Allie. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Good morning. Where We've got some warm-ups going on behind us this morning, and I have Bradley, who is here with us this morning, who is playing on tour, but also from Poway. Yeah, it's great to be back in my hometown. I actually played my first junior tennis tournament right here at this facility at the Barnes Center, so it's a real full-circle moment to be able to come back here and play professional tennis. Yeah, and so tell me a little bit about your story, because we were just talking about you graduated from Poway in 2012, probably wanting to play professionally, went to college, and now you have played professionally for 10 years. Yeah, I graduated uh, 2012 from Stanford, went on tour right away, and have uh, bounced around a little bit with some injuries, but happy to be back out here, and it's been a, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years on tour. It feels like it's gone by in a heartbeat and also a long time just seeing the transition from myself being a youngster on tour to now being a little bit older on tour and seeing some of the young Americans, young San Diegans coming up as well. Yeah, it's got to be really cool, though, now that this tournament has popped up. This is the second year that it's here in San Diego, and the opportunity, I would imagine, to play in your hometown, you've got to be like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to put that one on my calendar. Yeah, I was super excited when I saw it come back again this year. Last year it popped up last minute, and I wasn't healthy and ready to play, and came down and watched the tournament. Just love the atmosphere here. You know, it had a really strong draw playing it right before Indian Wells, and for them to add the tournament again this year on late notice, I, it was one that I circled right away. Yeah, and what is it? I mean, as you're playing this court, they've done a wonderful job with it. You're playing this weekend, and obviously, like you said, the atmosphere is everything, right? Yeah, it's amazing to see the transition, just always coming down here for junior events, seeing the facility, and then coming back here. I think I first came down here on Tuesday and just seeing all the work they've done to build this beautiful stadium and right close to downtown San Diego. It's, you know, real credit to Ryan and his entire team for making this place look really nice. Yeah, now you said for you, do you have, uh, you have some doubles matches coming up? Yeah, uh, playing doubles with Fernando Verdasco, and then we play singles tonight against another buddy of mine, Dennis Kudla. So I'm assuming we'll either play tomorrow or Thursday. We'll, we'll see when the schedule comes out later today. Yeah, and, and I mean, are there nerves that come? I, this is some good competition that's here as well, right? Yeah, you know, it's always a little nerve-wracking playing in front of your hometown. It's nice just being able to stay at home for a lot of the event and and having so many friends and family close by, but that also adds a little bit of pressure. You want to do well in front of them, and it's you know, ultimately I'm just very lucky that we have a tournament here 30 minutes from where I grew up playing, and like I said, playing my first junior tournament here, just having that full circle moment is really cool. Now, what did you make mom cook for you since you were home? Uh, <laughs> I think the last night I was home for dinner, we. Sunday night we did hamburgers, so that's a okay. good hearty staple in the Klon family. Okay, that's why you were like, all right, now that I'm home, Mom, this is what you got to cook for me. And, of course, for you, you said you're in this transition where you're considering retirement and considering moving on. I mean, imagine that it's tough being on tour for 10 years and the injuries and everything else. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but a lot of fun, right? Yeah, I am like I'm consider myself very blessed to have been able to play professional tennis for 10 years. I grew up watching pro tennis on TV. I remember starting at age 11 and pretty soon after that seeing Andy Roddick win the U.S. Open and just thinking how cool that was. And you know, I, I was always focused on education. My parents had always placed that premium and I, I'm very happy they did. I got an unbelievable degree from Stanford. I loved my four years there and I, you know, I growing up I just wanted to play tennis to get myself a, a good scholarship and be able to get a good degree and and go into the working world and to be able to chase my childhood dream and play professional tennis I, I never thought it would last this long and you know I just really trying to soak up all the all the remaining days that we have out here and you know whether that's this week or you know more but it's I, I consider myself very lucky I've had some incredible experiences tennis is taken me places that I never would have imagined and just the results the people I've met it's it's really been an incredible ride very cool of course and I think uh, very uh, a lot of inspiration for any of those young tennis players out there uh, you'll find it right here in Bradley back over you guys all right